Singapore's vegetable production levels is set to rise with the launch of the country's largest indoor vertical farm. Powered by AI, Green Phyto's $80 million facility can produce up to 2,000 tonnes of vegetables, around eight times more than an average local farm. This could help lower prices by up to 10%. Natalie Ong tells us more. At over 23 metres tall, these racks can grow around 300,000 plants at any one time. They're also fully automated, equipped with AI that adjusts temperature, lighting and the amount of nutrients needed. The tech is even able to select healthy seedlings that improve yield. We make sure that the plants actually grow as uniform as possible uh, so that uh, there will not be a bigger plants overshadowing the smaller plants or the smaller plants that cannot grow through adulthood right, can already be eliminated at the transplanting stage. This actually enables us to save resources and also to allow us to predict the amount of yield that we can actually fulfil to the market. The goal is to produce 1,000 tonnes of greens by the end of the year. The farm is currently in talks to supply produce to local hotels, restaurants and airlines. Green Fighter says that as it scales up capacity, consumers could pay up to 10% less. And its ambition goes beyond farming. This is a Singapore proprietary technology. We have also secured 69 patents across 34 countries. So moving ahead, we have also had two new offices, one in Netherlands and Malaysia. The plan is to globalise and also at the same time to licence our system. At its official launch, authorities say adoption of Agritech helps farms to overcome land and labour challenges. For many of our farms, um, we have to be realistic too that competition comes from elsewhere and why others are able to also bring down cost of production is the use of technology and other new forms of farming. Part of our resiliency is also about how we use technology and develop technology to make sure that we're not just uh, putting food resilience, but making sure that our farms become increasingly more climate resilient. It's hoped that these efforts add to the national push to raise local vegetable production up from 8 to 20% by 2035.